What's going on guys? This is Burrs. I want to talk to you today about pistol draw stroke. And over the last many years, I've ingrained in my brain and my muscle memory that what I guess everyone's calling the tactical draw um, of a pistol, which is up and then presenting it out. Um, I've done that for many, many years. Dry fire practice, hit the range and practice a ton, went to courses and practiced a ton. This is ingrained and this is how I draw a pistol. But recently on Veil Solutions uh, Facebook page, I saw that they had posted something in regard to a different way to draw a pistol or a more efficient way in terms of the amount of distance you cover to get to your ultimate goal, which is your weapon being presented out. Now the tactical draw stroke is basically up and out. And what this was explaining was the quicker way to get as far as distance goes and speed is to draw your pistol and bring it out and kind of along the lines of um, just one line versus two. If that makes any sense. So, you know, the way I've done it over the years, and I'll kind of have a side profile here to show you what they're talking about, is what's called the, the tactical draw stroke, which is basically you present the weapon up and then you present the weapon out. Okay? Now, for me, this distance covered, um, for the distance from holster to first position, is uh, 15 inches. From this position forward, is 22 inches. So in total you're looking at 37 inches of distance covered for that draw method. Now when I took the draw method that um, they was talking about in the uh, Facebook post, you know, up and out, it was 29 inches. So, you know, just to, I'm going to superimpose some, some diagrams here as far as the distance covered, but from here to here, 15, from there to out, it's 22, 37. And, you know, just this distance of this L is 37 inches to get to your ultimate goal. The new way that I saw is up and out. That for me, that distance from here down to the holster is 29 inches. So you're looking at an eight inch difference in uh, the distance that's covered. Now that's pretty dramatic when you're in a life or death situation. Eight inches can really be the difference between life or death. So in seeing that, and putting the actual you know, measurements behind it, I went ahead and took a tape measure, or a measuring, whatever, apparel measure, and kind of measured everything out. You know, using that and showing the facts behind it, because a lot of people, I posted this on Facebook and some messages I got back on it were, well, I don't really see the difference or the efficiency or, or whatever. Um, you know, I, I need to see numbers. So here I am giving you numbers on my specific uh, body type. Granted, that those numbers aren't gonna match your body type um, that because they're specific to my body type. Everyone's taller, shorter, um, shorter arms, longer arms. It's not gonna change, but you are going to see um, a difference between both methods. Now granted, I'm not in this video gonna show you how to do this method. You know, I'm not an instructor of any sort. I'm just telling you, this is a new, uh, you know, technique that I came across. The one thing I did is I actually bought uh, Frank Proctor's Performance Pistol DVD uh, just to kind of get what, what he thought of it because he's the one that is pretty prevalent in teaching this um, from what I've seen. And, you know, I went out and spent, I think, $20, downloaded it onto my computer. There's a five to ten minute segment in there where he's talking specifically about the draw of uh, a pistol from a holster. So if you're more interested in this, I would definitely go out and check that out. Um, I think you can get it from uh, one website. Uh, Vimeo or whatever it is, but you can just download it and or you can rent it you know, I'd rather spend three dollars more and just download the whole thing uh, Which I did So, you know, if you're more interested in go with that course even go to a course So you get the DVD so you know what I really like that but I want to tweak it I want to you know have someone there that has done this for a very long period of time Go to one of the courses that Frank has um, Where I think maybe even Veal Solutions uh, has courses. I haven't looked too much into what they do I know they make Kydex um, but you know, go out there and find someone who's using this technique um, and they've used it successfully and pick their brain and you know, ask them about it and uh, you know, pay to go to a course so they can kind of teach you different techniques and see if it works out for you. But for me, this is definitely something I'm gonna try to um, you know, work on this year to apply to my tactical toolbox uh, over on Facebook and Instagram and such. I've had many discussions saying, hey, you know, 2015, here's what I'm gonna try to work on. Uh, what are you guys gonna work on? We've had some great conversations. This is definitely at the top of my list as far as what I wanna work on this year because I really think it's impactful to you know, drawing a pistol compared to the way I was doing it. So if you guys have any questions or anything, let me know. If uh, you guys have a different way of drawing the pistol or you have one way or, or the other way and you wanna comment on how it works out for you, put that down below or better yet, make a video about it. Until next time, 
later. That was an interesting one. All right, so you saw on that one, my shirt completely got caught up in this, this weapon. Um, finger was always off the trigger, but I knew I had to get a shot on there. And I actually purposely slowed down a little bit to make sure I got it off of the shirt, which was actually wrapped around it. And then I got on target and put a shot on a human size body. It was not a bullseye shot, but it was on target. 